Now I can update the console app to show the details about the current user. So I'm going to come back into my main method. And let's just scroll down and we'll find this request for all users. And I'm going to replace this code with a request just for the current user. And I'm doing that by going to the me endpoint this time and displaying that. So if I rerun that exact same um, command just a second ago, so I do a .NET build and a .NET run, it's going to build the application and run it. So it's going to prompt me to authenticate, put in my username and my password. And sure enough, here are the details for the currently logged in user. I didn't need to specify who the user was because the me endpoint is already going to grab that. And you can see that we're going to the me endpoint from the last line um, that is being returned here. Now, in addition to showing you the results for the current user, I can also uh, find a specific user. So what I'm going to do is let's replace this code here for the request number two and replace it with the following code. Now, what this is going to do is go look for a specific user and I need a user's ID. So I'm going to do that by finding an ID for a user. And I can do that if I go back in the console, I can find a specific user like we'll use Patty. So I'll grab Patty's ID and we'll put Patty's ID right here and save our changes. And then I'll do the exact same thing, do a .NET build and a .NET run. So that's going to prompt me to authenticate again. I'll authenticate. And then I'll paste in the password. And what I want you to notice from this one is that not only are we getting Patty's information, even though we're logging in as Megan, you can see here that we're using the user's endpoint and passing in a specific GUID to fetch the information about an, a specific user in our organization. So and then in this demo, what you saw was how to create an Azure AD application registration using the Azure AD Admin Center, a .NET Core console app, and then how to query uh, Microsoft Graph for user data.